Hi everybody, I welcome you back to Afro Beauty Braids channel. This week's tutorial is about conrowing. We are going to learn how to conrow. Um, first of all, just conrowing without attaching extensions, the extensions that we use for hair braiding. And then the video will transition into how to attach those extensions. Um, if you've been wanting to know how to learn to conrow, this is the time. Watch the video and you will learn a lot from it. Thank you. This is how you do a cornrow with no extensions. So imagine that this is your natural hair. Um, and you just want to cornrow um, your hair. There are many ways of cornrowing hair or doing cornrows. One of these is to do the tucking method, which is like that. But there's also another way of doing cornrows, probably that will be my part two in another tutorial, where you actually do that. It's almost like an imitation of how you do your single braids. There are two ways of doing single braids. You can do your single braids, for instance, I call this the tucking method, where you go out like that and you're tucking outward. Okay, let's call it tucking outward. So this cornrow will be the same. But there's also a way of doing your braid or single braids tucking inward like this. Okay. If you're new um, to braiding and you'd like to learn how to do single plaits, I have a video on that, a very... A detailed video for beginners it goes step by step it gives you um, a bit more details so it's it's the same with um, cornrows you can either do cornrows going out like that and that's what we are going to do today but you can also do cornrows going in like that okay so focusing on what we're doing today I've already done my parting to save time and this is how we do the cornrows you get a small section, you divide it into three equal parts, and you start to, each time you're picking very little hair, you're not picking big chunks of hair, so um, you start to do like you're braiding, doing single braids, and then your pointer each time as you go down picks up some hair. I will show you how. You see this? It's picking up hair underneath there. And then you go down that section that you've parted. See, my pointer goes in there and picks up some hair, adds it to that middle section as we go down the line. And it's doing it from both ends. This pointer picks from this side and this pointer here picks from this side which is not visible to you okay so whatever you see me doing on this side i'm also doing on this side right moving along so as you can see as i move down the section that i've parted my sections are getting bigger when we started, this section was not this big, but because as I go along, I'm adding hair to it and to the other side, it gets bigger and bigger, right? I think you get the, the technique. Now you can just watch me go down the line Each time I pick hair, it allows me to move further down. Okay, so you get the, the idea. I'll just stop here. Okay. 
this is what my cornrow would look like and hopefully you can see that right i'm going to do this again so you can master the technique before we add in the extensions i'm roughly patting the hair so it's you know my patterns are not so serious because i'm just trying to demonstrate how you braid uh, your cornrow or you do your cornrow from one end to another because somebody else will say but how do you keep moving and what happens with your fingers while you move like i said you you keep adding more hair as you go along and because you're adding more hair it starts to get bigger it doesn't start big it starts small see that's how you get the pointed cornrow it starts small and as you keep adding hair to it it gets bigger and bigger and bigger okay let's do it again yes you guessed right you get a small portion divide it into three equal parts like you were going to do a single plait and then start to tuck in just watch my finger pads my finger pads are very close to the scalp so that my braid is not so loose and this hair is so slippery guys but that's what I have to work with to be able to show you how you do this so let's keep moving yes you get it now showing you from this side this is hair that I add to the hair under my pointer and keep moving down I'm trying so hard to make sure that you see what I'm doing. Oh, my hair, the hair almost tang got tangled up, but we are good. Okay. This is kind of going crazy. <laughs> because the head is not very firm it's not staying in one place so it's becoming an issue here let's tighten it up okay that's much better and let's start again it was moving too much Okay, 
so this would be your cotton roll oh i'm sorry my mannequin is falling off but this would be your corn roll without braids okay so we'll move on and i'll show you um how to add uh, hair extensions and do the same braid i hope you get the technique as we go along you will get it and lots of practice makes perfect anyway so if you continue to practice you'll be able to get this thank you So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to attach um, extensions, say extensions to what would be your own hair. We will start with very small strands and then build every strand will be, every other strand will be slightly bigger than the one I used before. Uh, I'm going to explain less and I'll let you watch because I believe that sometimes when you watch, it's much easier and better. Okay. For a start, we have a small portion there at the beginning of the cornrow. We portion it into three sections, one, two, and three, okay? I hope that's visible to you. And so we will use the tucking hairstyle that what we are tucking in. We are not um, braiding out tucking in the tuck i call it the tucking in technique okay so you just watch we start off with no hair extensions watch my fingertips very close to the scalp and then this pointer right here will pick up some hair to add to the middle section as I braid and go along. And what this pointer does on this side is what this pointer will do on this side, okay? You will not be able to see what my other, what this pointer is doing, but you can see what this one is doing. I am picking hair and adding it to the middle section each time as I braid down. Okay, at this point, I want to start adding in extra hair or braiding hair. This is my braiding hair. It's a small section. I hold it just like that and put it, position it with my pointer, like under my pointer there. Half of the braiding hair is added to this side and half of it is added to the middle section. So I continue to braid down, picking up extra hair each time. And I bring in another section of the braiding hair. Same way, tuck it under my finger, my pointer finger. One half goes to this section and one half goes to the middle section. I continue to braid down, picking up hair. I bring in another bit of the braiding hair. Each time I'm putting it under my pointer, one half comes to this outer section. The other half is in this middle section, okay? I continue to braid down. So you do the same thing as you go down, but now the braiding hair is getting thicker a little thicker than how we started okay continue to watch as i go along so people have different styles of attaching braiding hair i think for me that is the easiest way of attaching braiding hair okay if I feel like that's enough braiding hair attached to my hair, then I can continue to braid down. So remember, the more braiding hair you attach, the thicker your braid will be. 
okay if you want it to get thicker and thicker and bigger and bigger then you continue to add more hair if you don't if you just needed a little bit of support from the braiding hair to be attached to your own or what would be your own hair then you stop at that and just continue to braid down with the same technique it's all tucking in but each time as you go down you keep picking extra hair sorry my braiding hair is a bit tangled so let's say i was stopping here for the sake of you having a good visual i'm not going to go all the way down i can stop at this comb through my hair just to make sure So the rest of it is like braiding single uh, single braids. You just keep going down, going down. And let's say you got to this point and you feel like, oh, there's not enough hair to help you braid down. You can add more braiding hair to the rest of the, say you want it to be so long, you can add more braiding hair. And how would you do that? Just bear with me a minute. I'll grab a piece. Of braiding hair and show you this so all you do is just put it on top and continue to braid at this point some of these things we've covered in my video when you're braiding doing single plaits if you get to a point where you feel like your sections one of your sections is too small so for instance here sorry i'm trying to get this on camera so this is one section this is the middle section and this is the third section this middle section is too small i can grab some hair from this and bring it to the middle section so that all my sections are um, equalized and that way you can have a very neat braid as you go down okay I'm not going to go all the way down because the tutorial is about doing a cornrow there's a separate video about braiding you can go and look at that video it will show you how to do your single plaits and it's the same technique as same technique uh, when you're finishing your braid this will uh, your cornrow will look this way okay it's a perfect cornrow all the hair is tucked in properly Remember, it's the tuck-in technique. I hope you can see this. My camera is in a strange um, angle today, but I hope you can see this. Yeah, let's try this again. All right, so now I'm going to give you a second demonstration of the same thing we did. I did a bit of prepping off camera to save time. So like I said, I spray the hair with a little bit of water. It's much easier for me to work with hair like that. I do this to my natural hair though. It gives me more moisture, but it also, um, I try to avoid a lot of buildup with all uh, the help that you get from the gels and, and the jams. Um, I get a lot of buildup on my scalp. So I decide to use water, uh, which is much more helpful for me. Here we go without wasting any time we get a section patting 
sorry just bear with me and you divide that into three equal parts okay that's one that's two and that's three so the technique to having a really nice neat braid but not too tight is keeping your fingertips close to the scalp okay and i'll start off So then I begin to add my hair. This is how I hold it. It's easier for me to do that. Tuck it under my pointer. Half of the hair is attached to this side of the section, which is, and then the other half to the middle part of the hair. And I continue to do that as I braid down until I feel like I've added however much hair I want to add to my cornrow. And each time I had hair, it's slightly bigger than the first portion. This hair is very slippery, so. Okay, so at this point, I feel like I've added enough hair and I'll just continue to braid down. As I braid down from each side, I add hair to each section using my pointers. As you can see, this is how I do it. And now that I've come to the end, I change the position of my fingers to like as though I was doing single braids. If it's possible, comb through your hair. You don't have to use a small comb. It can be a big comb because a small comb could tug on your hair and break it. okay so you continue to braid down and i'm not going to go all the way down but you get the idea because today's tutorial like i said is about doing your cornrow 
attaching braiding hair. I wish I had colored uh, braiding hair that would show, but I think this is good enough. You can get uh, what I'm trying to convey to you. Okay. This is it. Yeah. So guys, that's all I had for this video. I am very um, sure that you had something to learn from it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I'll see you next week. Once again, I will invite you if you haven't subscribed, but you like the content of the channel, let me know. Subscribe, leave a comment. I so much want to hear feedback from you guys. And that helps me to know how I'm doing or if I am going the way you want me to go or the way I'm going is helpful to you. Thank you.